Hello and welcome back my lovely Trails fans to our next episode of Trails in the Sky. Alrighty, so before we get started, uh, I can't recall whether last episode I showed you how we had Chloe equipped, uh, but just in case I didn't, here we go. So I went ahead and bought that saber from the weapon store that's equipped on her now. Um, just the silver earring and the work helmet as well. Uh, ordnance. This is how I have everyone set up right now. So here's Joshua. Plenty of time magic. Estelle. Again, plenty of time magic for her to play around with. And Chloe, she's mainly going to be her healer. A uh, couple of extra things uh, to buy um, just to fill this one up for her. Um, I haven't been able to buy everything I needed because uh, as you can see I ran out of the Black septum there in the uh, top right corner. Oh, actually, that doesn't show. There we go. My Sepith ran out of that, um, so I need a bit more of that before I can go ahead and give her everything that I need. So I'll show you that updated once I've got a little bit more, because I've not been able to work on those shining palms yet. But once I uh, get Chloe leveled up a little bit, then I should be able to go and kill that shining palm at least once. So, uh, yep, we've gone ahead and spoken to everybody so far. So now we are going to go and head to the Saphir Tower, which is just here on the Orion Causeway. Uh, let's bring up the map if I can actually remember. So it's not on this one, so we'll just run all the way down here. Here we go, so the uh, is over there, and the Saphir Tower is this way. So we haven't actually been able to go in there yet, so there's quite a few chests for us to grab while we're in there. So we're going to make sure that we grab all of them. I believe there is any outside. Yep, there was, but we got that last time we were here. So, in we go. Saffield Tower. So I'm going to go ahead and fight monsters while I am in here. I will go ahead and just cut out those fights, just so you don't have to watch the boring parts. Uh, so there should be about 10 chests in this area, uh, none on the first floor. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go southwest first and up these stairs. Can't get across there, so we'll go up again. Do you believe that's not the direction we were wanting to go in? Yep, so we want to go up these stairs as well. Ah, here we go. Here's our first chest. Uh, so this is one of the boss chests that so we're going to want to save before we open this. Well, mini boss chest. Well, just a monster chest. <laughs> so this should go down pretty easily. I can't remember if they move. Oh yeah, it looks like they don't. Yeah, so we're just gonna white Gehenna all of these guys. Uh, unfortunately, because uh, we don't have enough of this black Sepith, we can't give her white Gehenna yet, so we have to settle for Hellgate. As you can see, they'll go down pretty easy. Plenty of XP, some lovely black Sepith, and some army boots. Don't forget to check the chest twice. You came back, I knew you would. And then equip the boots onto Joshua. So that'll give him some extra movement now, which is going to be pretty useful at this point. Alrighty. And uh, this is another chest that you might just want to save at. Just because there are monsters again. And again, we're just going to white get him. Flamberg. Hey, close my lid. What were you born in a barn? 
And then we're going to go over to Chloe, that's one of her weapons. A long sword with an exquisite undulating wave-like blade. Well, there's not really much else to do here. You can go up here, which will take you to the roof. And you know what, we're going to have a nice look up here, see the view. It's going to be a great screenshot, I think, for the thumbnail of the video. Oh look, you can see the beach down there. And back down we go. Go down here. Uh, then we're gonna want to go down here, I believe. Yep, here we go. And we got another chest here. And again, you just save again before you open it. But if you want hitting them like I am, um, if you're not on a harder difficulty or you're not well equipped, then this is just pretty much easy. And I forgot to restore my EP. And we get the battle suit. The voices in my lid said you'd return. Again, this is going to go on Joshua. And then back down we go. Oh, back down we go. Right after we've healed. With some EP charges. And then back down again. This time we're gonna go up this way and up again. I'm gonna skip those stairs and here we're gonna go into the circle here. Grab this chest. The clowns told me you'd be back. And then grab the second chest. You seem to be laboring under the hope that something else will magically appear in this empty chest. Let me quash that for you right now. And then we're gonna go ahead and eat the fried chicken there, that's a brand new recipe for us. Don't know how it managed to stay hot all this time. Unless it's spicy hot. Uh, let's see, so we're gonna go... Not all of these stirs and go to this one. Let's see. Go down here. Grab this chest. Don't forget to check it twice. Insert treasure here. And then we go back up again. Alrighty, and this time we're going to go up these stirs up these stairs. Gonna go over this way, grab this chest. So when do you plan on giving me my stuff back? And down those stairs. Uh, gonna go this way. And uh, down here. Alrighty. Uh, this chest does not have any monsters in it, so you can safely grab this one. Which gives you range one. You have found the ultimate treasure, oxygen. We're going to go ahead and put that on Joshua, and we're going to replace EP Cut 1 with the Range 1. Just gives him a bit of extra range when he's using his arts. I'm going to backtrack a little bit, uh, and then we're going to go east and down these stairs. Grab this chest. Don't forget to read it twice. It's empty. Treachery. And then head back up again. And then up these stairs. And then up these stairs. And then we've got another chest here. This one does have monsters in it, so let's go ahead and save.
as you can see there, Josh's range one has given us a little bit of extra range over their spells. We get ourselves the Scent Quart. Not you again. Uh, so the Scent Quart, uh, I believe, is kind of operates the opposite of Haze. Um, but uh, I'll double check actually what that does. What's uh, the best way to do this? So Scent. Uh, enemies become aware of your presence, so it kind of attracts more enemies to attacking you. So I kind of just skipped there um, with me getting out. There was nothing else to get in there, so hopefully you were able to follow along with that guide to be able to grab all of the chests that were in there. Um, so the scent augment is kind of useful and um, basically nullifies the haze augment which you might think is kind of useless because what's the point of running both of them um, but it allows you to get some uh, pretty good wind magic at this point in the game anyway so we're going to head over now to uh, latin so we can do some of our requests so i will cut the video until we get there Alrighty, and here we are at uh, Letton. Uh, so the NPCs here have some new dialogues. If you want to read everything, um, make sure you speak to everybody before you go upstairs. It's been noisy in there for a while now. I wonder what's going on. Hmm, I don't hear anything. Darn it, what's going on? Is the Royal Army really going to just roll over for some bigwig? What are they doing? By the looks of them, I'd say they're just ordinary travellers. However... However? However what? I have to wonder why there isn't a single guard. Now that you mention it, maybe something big is going on. That I do not know. But I think we should ask a guard when we find one. Sounds good to me. I guess even a bracer is no match for an upper crust jerk. The future looks very bleak. I can't see anything through the keyhole. I wish someone would do something about this already. What an annoying guy. Indeed, there are selfish people in all walks of life. It sure is noisy outside. Is someone arguing or something? Well, we're going to go ahead and rest here. Considering we're very low in EP. everyone spoken to let's head on upstairs so has his grace changed his mind he is not the sort to do so once he has decided on something in light of that I believe he'll be staying here hmm I see then we'll have to wait for the braces to arrive before we can do anything more I'm afraid so if that's all then I shall take my leave Wish me luck. Huh? I think I know that guy. Oh, it's you. You're braces, aren't you? Thank adios you're here. The name's Chief Warrant Officer Han. It's nice to meet you. I'm Estelle, bracer in training. And I'm Joshua, also in training. Bolton Board said that a traveller was causing trouble. Yes, I'm afraid so. We do have an unsavory character, and dealing with him is proving most difficult. Do you think you might be able to help us out? Yes. Sure, why not? Thank you, you'll be doing us a big favor. Okay, let me fill you in on the details. There's been little progress to speak of. So what's with those guys over there? They're the victims of this current little issue. The traveller in question is currently in the dining hall. In the dining hall? Yes, we're hoping that food will persuade him. For the sake of the others here. Persuade him? Okay, just who is this troublesome traveller? Well, to be honest... Hey. You're in charge here, right? You have to do something. 
Are you just going to let this kind of bullying go unchallenged? The Royal Army is supposed to be on the side of the citizens, right? If so, then do something about this. Now hold on, all of you. Calm down, please. I'm sick of being calm. I understand, just please, take a step back. Joshua, are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. For now, I want you two to check on the dining hall. Uh, okay, we will. Come on, let's go. Alright. I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, yeah. Duke Jerk. But sir, if you reserve all the rooms and the dining hall, what will I tell the other guests? You can't... Why can't you see where I'm coming from? Your Grace, I feel I must agree with him. Perhaps we should return to Ruan as originally planned. Quiet, Philippe. I like it here. Particularly since it has such a lovely view of Erlethen's waterfall. But sir... Oh, it had to be you, didn't it? You're that self-centered duke guy from before. Hmm? Well, well, if it isn't the braces. You're late. We've been waiting for you. Don't tell me. That's your troublesome traveller. Do you see anyone else here? Ah, <sighs> fine. It's no wonder we recognised the guy who was walking, talking to the chief warrant officer. The duke there says he intends to stay here. He insists he has to rent all the rooms as well as the dining hall. He really is as selfish as selfish gets, isn't he? Oh dear, he is a troublesome fellow. Royalty or not, what does he expect us to do? Make everyone else go camping? And that's where you come in, hopefully. Can you do something to help? Ideally convince him to go back to Ruan, or give him a little nudge over the falls. You want me to do it? Isn't tactical negotiation part of your job? We're just soldiers, you know. We train with guns and swords, and negotiating with a sword can be somewhat messy. Uh, and what makes you think I'm any different? I'm good at hitting stuff, not talking. I usually teach that stuff to someone with a knack for it. Joshua's the guy with the silver tongue, not me. But Estelle, we can't just stand by while this is going on. Hmm. Please, even if you can't convince him with words, there's always your staff. Uh, okay, okay. Ugh, I hate this kind of stuff. Well, I have faith in you at least. Let me give it to you straight. You can have all the faith in the world, but I don't. So don't get your hopes up. I'm sure you'll do fine. Well, well. Thanks for that. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh, I remember you. Hey, uh, fancy seeing you here. Where you go, trouble follows, huh? Hmm? Who are you talking to, Philippe? Okay, gotta start this off right. Alrighty, so uh, to get the best marks on your BP here, for the bracer points, you want to select Greetings, Your Grace, I'm here to collect you. Collect me? I don't recall ordering someone to do so. And where did you travel from? The Mayor's Estate. The Mayor's Estate? He asked for me to come here. Ah, I see. That is quite admirable of him. But I have no desire to return to Ruan on this evening. I've already decided to stay here at Erleton. Okay, double or nothing. Gotta change his mind, but make him feel like it's his idea. And we're gonna select at this junky old place? You really intend to stay at this junky old place? I mean, look around. I don't think this place deserves the business of the next king. Hmm, you declare things I already know to be true. I never believed this place to be worthy of my presence. It is, however, occasionally interesting to live as the common folk do, briefly. Well, I get that, but I don't think they even have a high-class chef here. Not to mention, I'll bet it's not even very sanitary. Arr. You think so? Yes, now that you bring it to my attention, the place does look a bit on the filthy side. Hmm... I suppose I simply cannot stay at such a place. And now for the sales pitch. Your grace, by your foot. Huh? What about my foot? There's a huge cockroach. Ah, uh, Philippe! Y yes, sir? Wh where's the roach? Where is it? Hurry, hurry up and kill it. 
Uh, surely, sire, you can expect no better from the common peasantry. Why, I'd wager they even have monsters infesting the... Uh, enough, Philippe, we're leaving. Yes, sir, as you wish, sir. Thank you so much. Think nothing of it. And all because of one magic word. Cockroach classic. And she had the guts to say that to his face. Ha! Yep, I needed a good laugh. Hmm, really? That's a relief. I'd been worried that we might have to get rough with him. But from what Kynes has told me, everything seems to have worked out. Speaking ill of my establishment certainly seemed to do the trick, didn't it? Um, <laughs> sorry about that. I didn't see any other way to get him... Uh, to get to him other than to tell a little white lie or two. Still, it was unexpected. I didn't know you had it in you to be that sneaky. Ha! You never know what I'm capable of when the situation calls for it. To be honest, I just tried to channel Joshua. <laughs> it certainly seemed like that to me. Yep, and if not, I'd never have been able to lie with a straight face like that. <laughs> well, lies come in all shades. You did it to help others, so I'm sure that Adios will forgive you for it. Yes, we greatly appreciate it. May you be as equally as determined in your future duties. Yep, take care. Well then, if you'll excuse us. And that's the request completed. We have a few new conversation topics we can have with everybody. Both of the higher-ups were writing up reports like crazy a little while ago. If there's any truth to the rumours I've heard, that Duke is one incredibly frustrating man to deal with. I'm glad I'm on inspection detail today. So that man was actually Queen Alicia's nephew? My messenger certainly caused quite the stir this time. Haha, <laughs> I'm sure the deputy director will pick on me about it come dinner time. That old man was a huge pain. This is a public place. What's wrong with him that he couldn't understand that? Haha, <laughs> Missy, that was absolutely frickin' lootly awesome. I didn't know the braces had comedians in their ranks. Still, why does a jerk like that get the good luck to be born into the royal family? Couldn't the next king find a better hairdresser? Can't believe he's actually of royal blood. I certainly wouldn't want any foreign dignitaries seeing him. That's the kind of king that results in monarchies being taken down by the peasantry. Ah, oh, I even came here so I could have some space to think. Thanks to that stupid duke, I've completely forgotten what it was I wanted to think about. All that trouble to take this trip and the mood's completely ruined. I'm gonna sue that jerk. You took care of the situation? I suppose the braces really do live up to their reputation. It looks like the braces managed to get everything straightened out. I don't know how they got rid of that selfish idiot, but I'm glad they were here. It's been noisy around here for a long time. If something happens, I wonder if I should let my CO know. You've all done very well. Well, well, it certainly has turned into quite the day. We had some rich guy come through with a regular laundry list of complaints. I don't know what his problem was. Alrighty then, so I think those requests and exploring the Safail Tower has kind of given us a good place to stop for today. So uh, thanks for tuning in, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell notification icon just so you know when it comes out. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye for now.